Hello, this is Clemmy Games Recommends, my series where I recommend games which I have really enjoyed personally and I believe are worth checking out. In this video, we will be looking at Gunman Clive, a gorgeous, hand-drawn 2D platformer set in the Wild West. It was released on Steam in 2014 by the developer Horberg Productions, although I am most probably pronouncing it wrongly due to it being a Swedish word and me not having a clue about how to pronounce the O with the umlaut, so I do apologize for that. In the game, you play as either Gunman Clive or Miss Johnson, with your choice of playable character resulting in the other being kidnapped, and hence a rescue mission begins. Gameplay and controls in Gunman Clive are simple, with movement, jumping, and shooting. One important thing that I want to point out is, of course, the visuals of this game. Art direction and art style are critically important to games, and having one as stuck as this does make it stand out from the crowd. I love the little lines which indicate shading and depth, as well as the minimalistic use of colour to differentiate between your character and the enemies. This game really is a treat to look at and I really do love it for this. The core gameplay itself is pretty satisfying, with the run and gun nature perhaps taking some inspiration from games like Mega Man and Metal Slug. Your character does have a health bar, which makes the game a little less frustrating since you are not subject to one hit kills. Dying in a level results in you having to restart at the beginning of said level, but this is not too much of a penalty since levels are relatively short, with most lasting about 2 minutes or less. There are also some memorable boss fights in this game, which do require pattern recognition in order to defeat said bosses. However, I never had too much difficulty with them and was able to complete these battles within a few tries. While the game itself is relatively short in duration, the choice of protagonist, coupled with different difficulty settings, Achievements for taking no damage in a level, and for completing levels within a certain amount of time, does add some longevity and replayability to the game. All that being said, I really do recommend that you check this game out for yourself, if not for the gameplay then for the visuals alone. That's it for this video, thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.